Hi, uh, this is going to be a demonstration of Snappy, a modern cross-platform interface for Jeff Week's Snappy kernel. I'll be demonstrating the Macintosh OS X version, but the other two versions for Windows and for Unix-based systems such as Linux are very similar. So um, you just start it like you would any other Macintosh application or on Windows, Windows application. Uh, and it brings up a little window here, which is sort of a terminal window, and this is the main way that you interact with Snappy. Uh, so it's the basic, there's sort of three things I'd like you to learn from this little demonstration. Um, and they're all about how this program is documented. I mean, the problem with a command line interface like this is we have this flashing cursor and we don't know what to do. So there's a little message there that says uh, type manifold with a question mark after it. So I will do that. And lo and behold, it prints out some documentation. Uh, this is a universal thing. You type any object, function, uh, whatever in, in the terminal window here, and you put a question mark after it and hit return, it will give you some documentation about it. So in this case, uh, it tells you that a manifold is a triangulation together with some kind of hyperbolic structure, um, and then it starts telling you about how these things can be specified. For instance, you can specify it as a knot or as some kind of manifold from a census. Um, I'll show you later how to get a manifold from a link by drawing a link with the mouse. Um, and all this documentation is in addition available on the web page or as part of the documentation that comes with the program. So the thing we were just looking at, if we go down here to a Python interface for Snappy, the terminal window there is something which is running uh, the Python programming language. Um, we were looking at manifold, that was the object we were looking for. And here again is the same exact message we're just looking at, but it's formatted a little nicer here. Uh, and it lists not just the basics, but it also lists all the various things you can do with that. Okay, so right, we're back here at our window, and uh, it told us various ways we could create a manifold, so I will do that. I will look at how about the complement of the figure eight knot, the four one knot. All right, so now we have apparently created a manifold, but again, one has the problem. What do you do next? So the second thing I'd like to show you um, is tab completion. This is the other key thing besides the question mark for using this program. So um, I just type M and I type a dot there, period, and then I hit tab. And what it does is it lists all the things I could do to this manifold. So for instance, I could look at a cover of the manifold, or I could drill out a curve, or I could look at its fundamental group, its homology, its volume, and so on. So now I have some idea about what I could do with these things. Um, so maybe I'll just do that. So one of the things there is volume. Now, of course, that's going to print out its hyperbolic volume, but maybe I don't know that. Um, and so I could ask it, well, gosh, what is this going to do? Is it going to cause my computer to explode? No. Um, it simply returns the volume of the manifold, is what it says. And one of the things you'll notice here, uh, there's typically some examples for each of these uh, methods. They're called things you can do to the object, the manifold. Uh, there's a little example of how you would use it. In this case, the example shows creating the manifold M004, which is in fact the figure eight not complement, and then asking it's volume. Okay, so now let's actually do that. And so, you know, there were various other things we could uh, ask about, such as homology, uh, the homology of the group is Z, or uh, its fundamental group. There we go. So, in addition to basic things like that, uh, we could also um, maybe do a Dane filling on this manifold. That was one of the things we had before. Uh, and again, you might wonder, well, how do I specify uh, the particular filling I want to do? So again, we just ask it. It gives me quite a list of uh, examples there. So here's an example where it's creating a four-cusp manifold, so complement of a certain eight-crossing link in the three-sphere. And then it's filling in the second cusp. Cusps are numbered starting at zero. Um, and it's filling in by the two, three, four. So if we look at that, and we could then uh, maybe want to do the two, three filling on our manifold, which only has one cusp, so it's cusp zero. Uh, and now we have to what the volume of the manifold we created. That's homology, mod v z mod three or zero z mod two. Um, and okay, so now we we filled it in, and maybe we decide we we actually liked it complete, so. Uh, one of the things you can do is access the history of all the commands you've typed. 
So I type the M, hit the up arrow, we'll go through all commands that match the initial prefix I type. So, uh, which of course so far has been almost all of them. Um, and so I can go back here. Don't want to make it just the complete. Ah, sorry. Made an error. It complained. This is not a pair of numbers, which is what I would like. There we go. So now it should be back to the original figure eight column. Okay, so now let me show you the first of the graphical features of Snappy, namely um, creating a knot or link by drawing with the mouse. This is perhaps the most crucial feature that this thing has. So the way you do it is you just create a manifold, but you don't specify some kind of name. What happens is that then it pops up a little link window, you can see here, and so now we can draw a link or not. In a fit of creativity, I will draw the figure eight knot. And uh, once I've drawn this, I can, of course, adjust crossings. I can move the existing things around. I could, if I double click, I can break it open. Add a little curly cue in here. Of course, it changed the topology of the compliment. There you go. Um, so we can do things like that. There's some options here. We can reflect it, make it alternating. Also, print out a Dalgar thistle plate code, do that kind of thing. Okay, well, anyway, I've drawn this, but now I need to get it back into the terminal window. So I do that just by selecting the menu item here, send to snap. So now it's got that thing. Uh, we've got what's the volume of this manifold. That was the figure eight knot, so it's the same as I had before. And if I just wanted to uh, confirm that, these are really the same manifold. I can do that. I can ask, are these manifolds isometric? And the answer is yes. But again, the, the really key things here um, are uh, this introspection, as it's called. That's the thing with the question mark giving us a, some information about